Well, hey, neighbors, and welcome to the Shed Shop, this edition of How To. So you've taken your chain break handle off of your steel MS-170, or your O-17, your MS-180, your O-18, or even your MS-250, your O-25, your 210, your 230. So many of them have this set up for the chain break. And now you can't figure out how it all goes back together. And you're frustrated. Don't worry, neighbors, the Chainsaw Redeemer's here to help. I'm going to show you in a real quick video. It's a simple job. It can be a little tedious sometimes getting all the stuff to, to fit together perfectly. But neighbors, don't worry. I'm going to show you real quick. So I'm going to turn you down to the bench, and I'm going to show you exactly how to install your chain brake handle on your steel chainsaw. Okay, neighbors, this doesn't apply to every steel chainsaw, but many models like the ones I mentioned. They're all the same. Okay, neighbors, so let's turn down to the bench, and I'll show you how to do the job. Okay, neighbors, so here you go. Let's first make sure we have all of the parts we need. You're going to need your chain brake handle, your strap, your chain brake spring, your flat spring, which holds your handle in place when you're not using your chain brake. You're going to need your plastic spacer. You're going to need your retaining clip. And you're going to need your, your uh, arm, I think this is called. Okay, neighbors? And then one other part, neighbor. Obviously, you need your chain brake band. What tools do you need for this job? Well, it's pretty simple. You can do it with just a pair of needle nose pliers. Sometimes you might need your little flat screwdriver to move things. That's all you need for this job. Now, I have my sprocket off. Sometimes it's much easier to work your chain brake band on with the sprocket off, but you don't have to have it off. Sometimes you can get your chain brake band on and off with your sprocket right there. But I'm going to show you very easily how to get the sprocket out of your way if you need to, neighbor, okay? Your sprocket would be just like this. Okay, you got your worm gear back there. You got your notch. Remember, I've shown you that before. Okay, you'll have that. You'll have your retaining washer and then your retaining clip. Okay, your retaining clip will be on there and all you got to do, I like to use my scrunch, but all you got to do is take a screwdriver, pop your retaining clip off very carefully. Don't shoot your eye out. Okay, take your retaining washer off, take your uh, uh, sprocket off and then take your needle bearing off just so you don't lose it. All right, so here's how we do our chain break. First thing you wanna do, is we have to put our flat strap in. Now, listen, neighbors, if your handle is doing a floppity floppity around all kinds of loose when your chain brake's not engaged and you've got one of these springs, it's probably worn out right here on the elbow, okay? And so you'll need to replace it. It's only a couple dollars. Let Chainsaw Redeemer know if you need one. And that, just like this, okay? Just like that, neighbor. Just set it on that groove. Now, they do fit in a loose... Uh, pretty loose most of the time. It just lays right in there, just like that. Okay? Next, we're going to go ahead and take our chain brake handle. We're going to face it the way it faces our chainsaw. You're going to have a slit right here. Very important. Listen. Right here, neighbor. Okay, listen. This hook is always going to go up. And this open, straight one is always going to go down. It's always going to be like that. Okay? Just like that. Always. Goes inside your chain brake handle. Get your get your hole pretty close here. Okay? Pretty simple. And then I've got a lot less to contend with. If your recoil and everything is on, you will have to you will have to work your handle around all that. But this is a rebuilt saw, so I'm starting from the bottom. Now, your chain brake handle will go on there. You have to line it up there as well. You have to watch your spring back here. Okay? You can line that up pretty good usually to where it'll just slide right behind your spring. That'll slide on, okay? And then gently push it on. Push that on, okay? And that's it. It goes just like that, okay? Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and fit our spacer. That just slides right on that pin right there, okay? Pretty simple. Next thing that goes on, oh no, we've lost it. Okay, it appeared my flywheel magnet stole my parts. So next you gotta put your strap on. You're gonna have this notched out end here to slide on one pin and then it's gonna go straight on the other pin, okay? So the notch out goes over your chain brake handle. Okay, so put it like that. Push it, whoops, sorry neighbor. Push it forward and push it on, that's it. And then take your little tiny retaining clip, which I've probably misplaced too now. My magnet probably stole that as well. It did. 
Look at that, neighbors. It's holding my parts for me. <laughs> okay. And then you just take your retaining clip. And I can usually push the little one on by finger, but not always. Depends on how bad my arthritis is on that particular day. So you just hold it and very carefully, very carefully, don't shoot your eye out. Very carefully clip that on there. <laughs> See, it's not so hard, neighbors. Guess what? Next, we can go ahead and do our spring. I find it's always easier, for me at least, to put this on before I do my chain break band. Okay, neighbors, and maybe I said that backwards. I don't remember. I'm so sorry. I'll find out. And I just like to grab my spring. I grab it right here. Okay, that's where I grab it. Right there with my needle nose. I do have an install, an, an install tool on the way for these, but steel got hacked, and I've been waiting over two weeks for my parts after the system being down for two weeks, which is making the chainsaw redeemer go broke because he can't get saws out the door, and he's got five not oiling right. Okay, that's simple. Okay. Check to make sure that works. Whoops. See, that's why we check stuff. There is a cover over that, but they usually don't pop off like that. Okay, just like that. Let's push it down harder this time. We'll go ahead and put our chain break band on. For your chain break band, face it out this way. Just hook it right on there. That's it. Okay. Right now, the chain break is engaged. So I'm going to go ahead and disengage it. That's going to make it easier to install this band. Okay. Then I can form the band. Slide it into the grooves down there. Okay. And then it sets right in here. That's it. You just got to work it in there. I'm missing right here. Okay. Just make sure it sets all the way in there. Okay. Chain brake is disengaged. So with that on now, I still should be able to put my sprocket in. Like I said, sometimes it's easier before, sometimes after. Whatever works best for you. And you can put your sprocket on first without your needle cage in it. Make sure you line up your worm gear. I missed. Okay. Oh, I forgot to mention, neighbors, I should have done it. Listen, if you have grease, I strongly recommend these springs wear out very bad. I strongly recommend. Um, it's hard, it's hard for me to get it after the fact, but I will get it. Bear with me. I strongly recommend packing some grease around that spring. It will absolutely help the life of your spring, okay? Um, because there's less friction. So, I don't want to take this all the way apart. I've forgotten it before, and it's not that hard to get back there. Just if you can get any amount back there, okay? It will, it will increase the longevity of that spring in your handle there. Okay, now that we've got everything together, um, I'm, I'm, I'm a little interested that that popped off. Normally, I can test them without that popping off. Okay, see, there we go, neighbor. It's working well. It grabs our sprocket. Everything works right. We release it. Uh-oh, neighbors. There we go. So then all we got to do is put our retaining washer on and our, our clutch retaining clip, our sprocket retaining clip. Okay. Don't normally use these needle nose, but we'll try it. Something different. Got my other ones right here. No, nope, I don't like that. It's easier for me to do it this way. Okay, just lean that against our retaining washer there. And very carefully. Don't shoot your eye out. Bam. Don't try and push that on with a screwdriver. Please grab you some pliers. That's it, neighbors. That's how you install your chain brake on, on these models. And then on your 250s, your 210s, your 230s, you're going to have two screws here on most of your models. But on these smaller saws, this just clips right into place. Now, it also is my recommendation that you use you some kind of uh, bonding agent, anything, even super glue, anything to help hold this cover on. Your sprocket cover will help hold this on, but you get a lot of dust and stuff because this thing does this as your saw runs, uh, even on brand new ones. It's, it's one of those designs, steel did us dirty, okay? I notice it's hitting my chain brake band right here, so guess what? I need to make sure my chain brake band is pushed all the way in where it needs to be. It is now, okay? So now my cover no longer hits it. 
that's it. My cover's not quite clipped in all the way. Let's see here, neighbors. I missed something. Nope, it's just it's just that design. And that's it. That's how you install the chain brake on your uh, steel chainsaw. Hey, if this helped you, neighbors, please smash the thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Otherwise, you'll miss out on saws like this. I'm giving away an 017, which is the older model of this saw. Okay, neighbors? Uh, and that'll be at 250 subscribers. We'll go ahead and start the giveaway. But all you got to do right now to qualify for that is be subscribed. Like any video, I mentioned that giveaway in, like this one, and comment on said video. And then you'll automatically be entered to uh, win that two or that 017 when I give it away. Okay, neighbors, be kind to one another. Everyone's facing a battle. Until next time, bye, neighbors.